السلام عليك زين الأنبياء السلام على بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي we're continuing to look at these ahadith from Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam related to the virtues of the Qur'an. And the two ahadith that we're going to look at today are really encouraging us to read the Qur'an in abundance and how that impacts the way that we will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first hadith an Umar radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam من قرأ ألف آية لقي الله وهو ضاحك في وجهه. That the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم said, whoever recites one thousand verses, and there are other ahadith talking about doing so within a day, that to have a regular wird, a regular routine of reciting the Quran. Whoever recites one thousand verses will meet Allah subhanahu wa taala, and Allah will uh, embrace this person and meet this person with his complete contentment. The hadith says that Allah will be smiling towards that person, but وَلَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ Nothing is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the ulama say that this indicates that Allah will have complete rida, kamal rida, complete contentment with his servant. So that when a person meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be awarded with Allah's rida, kamal al-rida, and there is nothing greater than that. So then the natural question comes next. Qila ya Rasulullah, wa man yaqwa ala qira'ati alfi ayah? And our Messenger of Allah, who is strong enough, who has the ability to recite a thousand verses every day? Faqara'a sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, al-hakum al-takathur. One of the short ver- uh, surahs of the Qur'an, Al-Hakum Al-Takathur, Hatta Zurtum Al-Maqabir, Kalla Sawfa Ta'lamoon, Thumma Kalla Sawfa Ta'lamoon, Kalla Law Ta'lamoon Ilma Al-Yaqeen, Latarawunna Al-Jaheem, Thumma Latarawunna Ha'ayna Al-Yaqeen, Thumma Latusalunna Yawma Ithin An Al-Na'eem. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Do you not recite this surah? And they said, Yes. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, After reciting it to the end, وَالَّذِي بَعَثَنِي بِالْحَقِّ By the one who sent me with truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَنَفْسِ بِيَدِهِ And my soul in his, is in his hand. إِنَّهَا لَا تَعْدِلُ أَلْفَ آيَةً This surah is worth 1,000 verses. This surah is worth 1,000 verses. So we should make it our practice to recite this surah every day. الْحَاكُمُ التَّكَاثِرُ And you can include it in salah, or you could read it outside of salah. But once again, it shows that Allah will magnify the value of this surah for special meanings that it contains. But in addition to that, we should also abundantly recite the Qur'an because there are other ahadith where the Messenger of Allah puts people into categories that whoever recites 100 verses, they will be of this category of people. And then the more a person recites, the greater the category that they're placed in. So we should have that intention. And then one of the ways that we secure that for ourselves is reciting the surah every day. And in another uh, uh, hadith narrated by Imam al-Tabarani, عن أبي أمامة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من تلا آية من كتاب الله استقبلته يوم القيامة تضحك في وجهه Whoever recites even one verse from Allah's book, then that verse will meet this person on the day of resurrection, smiling in their face. Now imagine this day, the day of resurrection, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, the day where يوم يفر المرء من أخيه, where a person will run away from their own brother, وأمه وأبيه, and his own mother and father, وصاحبته وبنيه, and his own spouse and his own children, the most, the closest people to you, the people who love you the most and you love them the most, that that day will be so heavy and people will be so concerned about their own selves that they'll run away from each other. Imagine in that moment that these verses of the Qur'an come 
and greet you smiling. What kind of peace that will give you, what kind of serenity that will give you. And that most importantly and ultimately it will lead to being uh, uh, the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being given his kamal al rida his complete contentment subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us that and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a, an intimacy and a connection with the Qur'an that is never severed such that we appreciate every ayah, we appreciate every surah, we appreciate every letter, and we appreciate every harakah, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to experience the sweetness of the recitation of the Qur'an fi khayrin wa lutfin wa afiyah, wa sallallahu ta'ala ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.